How do you feel about the theory of global warming, now deemed, climate change? Climate change is a big-time crisis. Our planet is heating up, and it's caused by greedy people who use too much gas and electricity as part of their lavish lifestyles. So you believe that temperatures on Earth are rising, and that it is caused at least in part by the emission of carbon dioxide from cars, trucks, planes, and other human activity, into the atmosphere creating a so-called greenhouse effect, and raising temperatures as energy is trapped from the sun? Yes, the ice caps are melting, the polar bears are drowning, and the water level is rising. Humans are treating this planet like it's only for their enjoyment and it's destroying the world for everyone. How do you know these things are true? Everyone knows, it's undeniable. In fact temperatures over the last 12 years have actually declined on average versus the previous 12 years. No way, that can't be true. Yes indeed, as reported by NASA. You should also know it has been reluctantly acknowledged by the United Nations that there has been no so-called global warming since 1998. But you won't see that reported by the mainstream press who are all heavily invested in the notion that our planet is heating up. You are wrong. The scientists prove the Earth is heating up by analyzing the data points. They all agree, except for a few wackos who are in denial. Actually, there is no material proof that global temperatures will rise over time. The data you mentioned is forward-looking predictive models that have been concocted with thousands of guesses and assumptions projecting average global climate for decades into the future by the very same meteorologists who seem to be unable to predict rain or shine 48 hours ahead of time. But, meteorologists are smart, they study meteors. I'm sure their models are correct. And it just feels warmer. No. You fucking retard, meteorologists do not study meteors, if you mean flaming rocks flying through space. It concerns me, that you believe that. Let's get back to the discussion. You said earlier, that the ice caps are melting? Yes they are, and the polar bears are drowning without the ice to walk on. In point of fact, a recent report from the U.S. National Snow and Ice Data Center finds that Arctic ice has increased by 409,000 miles, or 26%, since 2007. But that can't be right. I've seen videos of them melting in documentaries, and of bears drowning. Yeah, 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 Al Gore, the Nobel Prize winner showed it in his movie. If you mean the widely discredited documentary, An Inconvenient Truth, I should tell you the polar bear featured was swimming not drowning. The whole scene was later debunked by the cameraman who admitted he took the footage in August, when melting occurs yearly, before freezing begins again, yearly. But the polar bears are in danger. You'll also be relieved, and happy to know, that the polar bear study group reports there are actually five times as many polar bears on the Earth now, as there were in 1950. The number is up to at least 20,000 and growing. What about the sea level? It is rising fast, and whole villages are in grave danger. It is alarming to me that you are spoon-fed this propaganda from the media and regurgitate it with such naive passion. Please know that the mean sea level was established and first marked in 1841 in Tasmania, Australia. There has been no measurable rise in sea level since then, and a strong case is being made that it even fell a little bit. But if you are right, then why would the government and the media and all these scientists make up all these lies and report them? The recent scandal, nicknamed Climate Gate, is only the beginning of what we will find to be the greatest global conspiracy in the history of the civilized world. Governments and global organizations such as the United Nations are using the false concept of global warming and the equally false tie to human-caused carbon emission to take power and wealth away from its citizens under the auspices of saving our planet. Unless we do something about it, these organizations will accelerate their successful effort to take away liberties in most elements of our daily lives justifying it by claiming it is necessary to protect our planet for us. But there are more hurricanes and more floods than ever before. This drastic weather is caused by humans, and we are being punished for it. Once again, you haven't listened to a fucking word I've said. Does your particular brain consist of applesauce? You need to begin thinking for yourself and questioning every so-called fact you hear in the news. You are being manipulated, and even worse you are being used to manipulate others to give up their freedom and their property. Can you think for yourself? Um. I think we need to stop destroying this planet. It's the only one we've got.
Yes, it's true. I realize now, in fact your brain is made out of applesauce. Please unscrew the top of your skull and feed your brain to a polar bear. Do polar bears like applesauce? Yes. I didn't know that.